So the first thing we'll do is we'll put our fan in. Now ordinarily give this a bit of a clean, but for the sake of the um, video, we'll just crack on. Um, and there's a little notch there that fits over there and that aligns it properly. And then we take the cable and we plug it in. Now remember to plug the cable in, because if you don't, your new motherboard will overheat and you'll have the same problem that you've had with your old one. Um, put our three screws back in. I'm working quickly here guys because YouTube only allows 10 minutes. So I'll try and do it in 10 minutes and if not we'll split the video in two. Okay so that's the fan back in. We'll put the rear vent back on. Just hold it up. And if there, here's your, out, your outlet sockets, your um, HDMI and um, uh, etc. And this just clips black in place. You can line them up there. It just clips back in place. There we go. Simple as that. Okay. And now I'll just put back on the um, the earth cable. thing back in to the casing, the console, bottom half of the console, and put back the, um, the main board screws, which I've put away here. Now it's easy to know where the screws go because, because there are um, little arrows little arrows to tell you where to put the um, main board screws back in. supply unit back in. Let's clip it in and make sure that the um, earth wire goes underneath this little lug and then um, that socket lines up with a little plug there. Put it on and just screw it back in again. For the sake of speed, I'll not put all the screws back in. Just put a couple. Okay. Get the um, Wi-Fi data ribbon and put that in and just clip down the little clip. Get the board and line it up. It just fits into a little lug there. And has two screws. One, two, and just connect. Just connect that data ribbon back into the little slot and click it over. Now, to test that the, the, the motherboard's working and for speed, I don't need to connect everything up again. I think that's probably, probably enough. So, I'll just reconnect the power. 
make sure the switch is off, plug it in, switch it on, the red lights come up there, see that red light, and I'll hit on, it's gone green, the fan's running, everything's hunky dory. The only thing that's left to do now is to switch over the logic boards on the um, on the Blu-ray that we took out. This is the old one. We've got to put this new one back on. So we replace that with that because this board is matched with this motherboard.